Thank you. I can't wait to try these out. See you! Hello! Not bad! Looks like you put some thought into it. I'm sure the celebrations for the Day of the Bright Sun are a bit different in Barnabas. Here, the airship tradition has been going on for almost 40 years. I think it started when someone uh, jumped on the peak and started throwing cranberry candy at everybody. Chicken Sen Mao ran off again. I chased it all the way here. Uh, hold on. Need to catch my breath. How did it get out? I like taking the chicks out for a walk every Saturday, just in case they get sick of being stuck in the coop. Then this one just ran off at the first opportunity. Sen Mao gives me the most trouble, always trying to outrun me or outhide me. Yeah? Really appreciate it. Whew, he's a surprising nimble chick. You'll need to sneak up from behind to catch him.
Wow, you are really good at this. You managed it in such a short time as well. The rest of the chickens scattered around the road after I ran after San Mao. Could you help me capture them as well, please? I couldn't have gotten through today without your help. Here are some freshly laid eggs. Please have them. It's the least I can do. I'll see you later. Come on, you rascals. Let's go home. I could count on you. Now I can get some more umbrellas made before it rains again.
Um. Thanks for the gift. Free to visit the research. Hi, did you discover something new? That should be enough data disks. Still, if you want to expedite our research, you can submit more data disks. The more data, the faster we work. You don't have enough data. That should be enough data disks. Still, if you want to, the data corruption on these disks are. work. Use your payments. Um... Thanks! This looks nice! Hi! If you find anything of value... We're still studying the data disks. Thank you for giving me a present.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First, let me talk, and then we can all have pumpkin pie. I have several items that I want to discuss today. The first is that thanks to the efforts of our builder, we now have a bridge to Amber Island. I would advise people not to go into the cave just yet, as there are some unruly creatures inside. I plan on opening up the cave as a tourist attraction eventually. In other news, we are aware of some theft this week. These actions will not be tolerated in our town. We will investigate this to the end and capture the perpetrator. Must be Huss and Tuss again. These idiots never give up. They stole my favorite book. And my wheel of cheese. And one of my socks. I hear you, I hear you. We'll get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. Arlo will be spearheading this investigation so you folks can rest assured. That's all for this time. You all have a good night. Oh, come up and get some of Sophie's pumpkin pie if you want. Here you go. Enjoy. new citizen. I'm Agent T, and this is my partner, Agent H. We are part of the Free Cities Debt Collection Agency. Can I help you? Yes. It has come to our attention that you are the offspring of the former owner of this workshop. Is that correct? No oh, good. Your father accrued 50,000 golds in debt from his business. Since we cannot find him, the debt has fallen to you as his closest kin. Because I'm a nice guy, I'll give you a week to come up with that money. If you don't pay up, we'll take this house as collateral. If you try to run, we'll inform the Civil Corps. That's all. You have a good day now. Come on, Agent H. Let- What should I do? Maybe I should go talk with the mayor. agency there is such a thing but I didn't know your father had any debt I have a suggestion the next time they drop by send them to me so we can work out a deal you've worked hard for Portia so it's the least we can do you should also have a talk with Martha she had to deal with uh, some debt when her husband passed maybe she can give you some legal pointers Thanks for coming. I've been real busy lately trying to figure out who the town thief is. Yes, haven't you heard? Someone has been stealing from our folks for the last couple of weeks now. Arlo has been heading the investigation, but it's strange. He's not stealing anything essential, just random trinkets. Anyway, enough about the thief. I asked you to come because I want to further develop the cave on Amber Island. That cave used to lead to a ruin, but due to an accident, the entrance was closed. This was some 40 years ago. Since then, there's been various rumors of it being haunted. Oh, which is all nonsense. I think it's about time we used it in our favor. The haunted cave of Portia has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? There used to be a power generator in there somewhere. I'm commissioning you to fix it up and give it some juice. Arlo tells me we'll need to install a removable battery. So go do that. Then I'll get one of the Hulu brothers to get that place running. Ah, this will be a fine tourist attraction. Hello. I hope the thieves turn out to be the Bandit Brothers. They're here. to hear that you're dealing with your father's debt. Though from what I can remember, he didn't seem like the type who'd be in debt. Anyway, I've dealt with the debt agency before. The point man around Portia is actually Mr. Isaac, so they're very easy to deal with and very fair. Don't worry too much. Isaac? 
that's not who approached me. No, that can't be right. Unless something happened that I'm not aware of, Mr. Isaac should still be the sole representative in our town. Maybe you should talk with him. He'll set the record straight, I reckon. Now, where did my cooking pot go? <sighs> Toby must have taken it on some misadventure again. I am going to ask him. What are you yapping about? Your father didn't have any debt. Heck, I didn't classify him as a penny pincher during his time here. Whoever came to you wasn't from the debt agency. They called themselves Agent T and H. Dust and Huss! These two buffoons are at it again! Come again? These two idiots are brothers from around Portia. They're bandits. Or at least they try to be. They make some trouble now and then, but they're mostly just a pair of imbeciles. What should I do? Well, I'd ignore them, but that's just me. Maybe you can have the civil corpse do something about it. Someone took my favorite book while I was out for a walk. I'll never forgive. That's a new high for them, as far as planning goes. A week's time, huh? We'll see about that. I'm missing a pair of old shoes. Did Sam toss them? She did say they smelled. Those two again? When will they give up? Don't worry. The Civil Corps will send someone over in time to deal with this. Huss and Tuss? Doing what now? <laughs> That's pretty clever of them. How much time do they give you? A week, right? I'll be sure to show up that morning as well. <laughs> 